Hi everyone. Once again, it's me, your friend, your pal, your comrade. And, and today I'm going to take the, the bottle cap challenge. That's right. I'm going to take the, I'm going to uh, undergo the bottle cap challenge, which means I have to, I have to uh, remove the bottle cap from this soft drink bottle with my teeth and right now right now it smells like somebody it smells like somebody pooped their pants in here that's right it does it smells like somebody pooped their pants but anyway I'm gonna try to do this and I'm warning you in advance kids do not try this at home and, I, and I've got um I'm I'm the adult so I, I get to try this stuff you might choke or something, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna take the bottle cap challenge. The challenge is to open the bottle. This is a brand new, fresh bottle. It's sealed and everything, and it still has a plastic ring around it. And the the challenge is to is to open the bottle and chew on the bottle cap, but you can't blow bubbles with it because it's not gum. But I'm gonna do that. See, watch. How can I not do this? I did it just fine a few, a couple of months ago. We were in an event where I did this. I mean, maybe the reason I can't do this is because I have perfectly straight teeth, and I, I'm and I can't do that. Oh, that was a joke. See, as you can see, I do not have perfectly straight teeth. That's why I thought I could do this. See now, teeth pump, even if you're a teeth punker, you can't do everything. So, see, I'm, sadly, this has not been a success. But I've, I've got, I've got uh, a better idea. I've got an idea that will be successful. This is, I'm going to take the the junior bottle cap challenge. So I've already got another another one of these in the fridge. I'm just going to take the now this one was already opened. So I bet I could do this one, I'm sure. I did it! I don't have a wall. I'm trying to blow a bubble with it. I can't do that though. It's not gum. I can't blow a bubble with it. It's not, it's not gum. Maybe we can't blow bubbles with it. I can fly. Well, I don't fail. Anyways. I see. I just took the junior bottle cap challenge. Now, it would probably. I'm. I, I now. I don't know. I'm, I'm actually very disappointed in myself that I was not able to to do the full challenge. But I was able to to open a, a, an already open bottle and chew the bottle cap from it. High school, we would always go out into the hallway to get a drink of water, and, and we would get a drink of water and we would go, ah, or you allow out in the hallway. It was funny, but anyway, now you think you think I would be able to do to open a, an unopened bottle of this with my teeth, because 
because that's why that's why science gave me really cool crooked teeth so I could do stuff like that because that's that's what crooked teeth are for other, other well they're for other things too like being cool that's what they're really for but but since this is cool this is a cool activity to open bottle caps with your teeth that qualifies as a subset under the category under the umbrella of being cool so that's what cool people get to do so if you're so now see if you have perfectly straight teeth you can't even do this you can't even do the I bet you can't even do the junior bottle cap challenge if you have perfectly straight teeth it's perfectly straight and boring teeth so so I'm gonna and all this work made me thirsty And this is another thing I do. Like if you have a, a, a can or a bottle of soft drinks like this and you, you want to share it with people and you know, and they're not relationship partners or anything. They're just a bottle of it, but you want to share. And you don't, so you don't want to put your lips on it and contaminate it. So you go like this, you pour it, you hold it above your mouth and pour it in like this, like that. See, that's how you do it. <sighs> now, I remember one time, I remember back at my, my old apartment, years ago, this is like over, over 20 years ago, there's the people, one of the, some of the other people in the building there's a, a young woman there and she had a, a younger brother who always came up there and uh, always visit who he was always visiting her he, this kid was only like nine but he would take a big sip of, of of coke Pepsi mellow yellow and soft drinks like that and after it he would always go ah, that's a true coke he would always say that He'd take a big sip of drink like this. <sighs> That's a true Coke. And he would always say that. And it was funny. And he used to break dance out in the middle of the street. And it was a busy street, too. So I took, I just took the junior bottle cap challenge. I did. Maybe someday. I mean, I'm, I'm really, I'm kind of disappointed in myself. I couldn't do the, the real bottle cap challenge. You know, I, I, but, but I, I could, I, but I was able to do something that probably 95% of people can't do because, because I have cooler teeth than 95% of people. So I, I was able to do that. Now I'm, I'm going to, one of these days people are going to do the, are good. I, I can't do it though. I'm so, I'm so embarrassed. I'm just so, so embarrassed that it, that my teeth aren't crooked enough. But, but there's, there's a, a but if you can do the, the real bottle cap challenge, I want to see you do it. I want to see you do it. And I also want to see if you can blow a bubble with a bottle cap. I know you can't do that. It would be funny though if you could. So that's, that's the bottle cap challenge.